Alright, Shalom. Wanna give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakar Kodash. Wanna give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Alright, um, this is gonna be quick and brief. Um, I was just thinking about last uh the Saturday pass at camp. And um, it was this older older guy, you know, he had a sincere spirit, and um, he came past us in the camp, and um, he uh was asking so many questions, but they were sincere, you know. He received it, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. He also was able to understand uh hell. <laughs> He was under the, he was able to understand hell when we broke it down and that there is no devil under the ground or our spirits being tormented, you know, in fire under the ground. All right. So he understood it quite clear, just like uh, through that, we had to go through reincarnation. You know, it was a couple of things. But uh, one thing he had uh, asked was about the scripture, Revelations 20, mainly in uh, five and six. So I just want to quickly brief, go over it. It's simple, you know, and Lord willing, I hope this lesson will be edifying. This is Revelations chapter 20 and 4. It says, and I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Hamashiach a thousand years. All right. So this is the elect. Okay. Who was delivered. It says, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh So you're going to have certain men of the elect that's going to, have to be beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and his testimony. And it says, and for the word of the Most High, all right, which is this gospel, because it's prophecy. It says, in which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. So these same men, well, let me say these same elect, okay, these same elect have not taken, um, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. All right, so like yeah, I had to cut my tea off. But um, as I was saying, as I saw the thrones and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, which is the elect, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped, the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark in their foreheads or in their hands. So these elect have not received the mark of the beast, which is the RFID, RFID microchip. All right. And they have not worshipped the system in which Esau provided. OK. And they didn't have it in their forehead, nor did they have it in their hand. And it says and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai Hamashiach a thousand years because these are the elect, which is going to be delivered on this side. All right. But it says, but the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. All right. So to um, matter of fact, before I even go into that, before I even go into five, I want to bring out a quick scripture. Just. Just for understanding, Zechariah, I think it's 13 and 9, 13 and 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, say of the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Now that two part represents two thirds of you Israelites. Okay? Two, two thirds of the Lord's people are going to be put to death. All right. And it says, but the third shall be left therein, which is representing the one third, because in this second death, 
okay, which the Lord is bringing fire, okay, the Lord is not delivering all of Israel as he did before in ancient Egypt. This time is an, it's an election. It's a selection election that the Lord have chosen to be delivered and is some to be put to death. Two thirds to be put to death, one third to be delivered. Verse nine, and I will bring the third part through the fire and I will refine them as silver is refined. All right. It says, and I will try them as gold is tried. Now that's twofold because the elect, the one third, they're going to be tried now. Okay. They're going to be tried now. Going through the fire, catching tribulation, suffering for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, suffering the persecution, you know, just to see salvation. You know, we suffer hey, we suffering as we as I speak. You know, we're in captivity, man. All right. And it's twofold because also the Lord is gonna save the elect through the fire. All right, when this place and those nuclear missiles be shot off. The Lord is going to deliver the elect simultaneously as these missiles being shot and being hit in their target. And especially here in Babylon the Great, which represents great confusion, which is known as America. Okay. When the Lord shoot those missiles off and those missiles are about to touch this place. All right. And bring forth that wrath. The Lord is delivering the elect. All right. So it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and I will refine them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name. That's another important thing. The elect will call upon the Lord's name. It says, and I will hear them. And I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord, Yahweh is my power. Okay. So, let me just grab back. So, just to explain for... You should understand that the two parts is going to be cut off and one third is left therein. So verse five, but the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. All right. So now when it says, but the rest of the dead live not again. All right. It's actually talking about the dead is the other nations. All right. So just to prove that this is Isaiah chapter 14 and verse nine. It says, hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thou coming. All right. And that hell represents a condition. It's not talking about hell under the earth. All right. And the guy that, the older guy that came to the camp, he understood that. We broke that down. You know, he was enlightened. You know, um, so the word, the hell it says hell. All right. Which is hell upon who? It says hell from beneath thee. Uh, hell from beneath is moved for thee. Who is that thee? That's Edom, Esau, Edom. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thou coming. Okay. So it's talk. this chapter here is talking about Esau. All right. And you read from verse one. <laughs> They're talking about our captivity and us coming into power. All right. So. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee. All right. There go that word dead again. All right. Even all the chief ones of the earth. It have raised up from their thorns all the kings of the nations. So the dead is representing the other nations. Because as of right now, in prophecy, which is this is this year as apostles to hard coin this year. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai, this is the year of prophecy. Things are taking its place. Okay. Things are coming to pass. And these other nations are coming against Esau Edom. All right. So the Lord is telling you, Edomites, that hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thou coming, meaning you're going to be taken down. It says, It stirreth up the dead, the other nations, for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It have raised up from their thorns, their thrones, excuse me, all the kings of the nations. Okay, so that's what you should understand. The dead represents the other nations. So let me go back. This is Revelation 20 and 5. But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. 
All right. So basically the dead with the other nations, they're not going to live as if they live today, you know, in their land and living um, fat, you know, having their own um, way in life. Because first off, when the kingdom come through your house, you're going to be in slavery for a thousand years. OK, starting with Esau, Edom. All right. And the rest of the nations, you're going to have to serve captivity, building up Israel. All right. Building up our kingdom, which is on this earth, because that's what the Lord is really coming to do. He's coming to bring the kingdom on earth. All right. And to set up his people on high and to be the elites, starting with the elect. All right. So you other nations, you're going to go in captivity for a thousand years. And after a thousand, you'll be set off in your own land, you know, to, to carry on. Uh, our traditions and, and worshiping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And we'll be set up as judges and rulers to rule over you. So if you break the Lord's law, you know, we're gonna you're gonna suffer the penalty. Alright, so when it says, But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years will finish, because they really not living. Okay, in captivity, you're not living, man. You're not living at all. We're not living. Okay, working a nine to five and you know, getting sick, fucking, you know, got to pay bills and all this. We're not living right now, man. Okay, the elites, Esau, Edom, the house of Esau, Rothschilds, they're living. All right. They got the finest things in life. You don't hear about them getting sick or even dying. That's the thing. We don't hear about them. Get, we don't hear about them dying. So I'll let you know that they're not getting sick and things of that nature, man. Okay. <laughs> They're living. They can have whatever the heart wish for. And they live in it freely as they will. Right. So it says this is the first resurrection. Uh, verse six. Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. OK. Which is those who who was delivered with Yahweh Shai. It says on such the second death have no power. But they shall be priests of the most high and of Yahweh Shai. And shall reign with him a thousand years. So blesses the elect that get delivered on this side. Because when it comes to the two thirds, they're going to be what? Brought back into the kingdom in the fashion of a newborn baby. All right. They're going to do. They're going to die on this side and come back in the kingdom as as newborn babes. man. OK, being the children of the elect. And that's how all Israel is, is actually saved. That's the mystery. Okay. He that got ears to hear, let him hear. So, as like I said, it's going to be quick, brief. I hope this was edifying. Uh, if you see this, you know, to the guy that came to the camp. If you see this, hope you were edified. And the rest of you out there of the whole four legs. So, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Makakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs. Shalom.